go. This Little League US Championship game is getting a little bit exciting right here. But of course, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna stop watching it. And of course, well, it's actually still on. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop some FC Sneaker Factory profiles on these amazing shoes during this time as I'm trying to watch the game. But I still am dedicated to you beautiful people, right? The fellas out there and the beautiful ladies. Oh, of course, the beautiful ladies that get my heart pumping. You know you beautiful ladies are the, the women, right? When it comes to this YouTube sneaker job. Absolutely love you. But of course, as you can see, look at that. Mr. Wonderful is back in the FC Sneaker Factory. Mr. Wonderful is back in California to bring you an amazing sneaker profiles as we're leading towards the Covenant 365. Of course, as you can see, always in shape for you beautiful people. But wait, wait, not for always for you beautiful people. For myself, because one, I have self-respect. So therefore, I'm always looking amazing for myself. Of course, I got that beautiful sunlight shining through the FC Sneaker Factory window upon this gorgeous shoe right here. You see the thumbnail, so I'm sure you know what's coming. But before we even get into that, let me go ahead and just remind you of something. When it comes to my sneaker content here on YouTube, right, it's a lot different from all those piece of shit garbage content out there when it comes to the sneaker genre on here on YouTube. It's a lot different. A lot of a different delivery, right? Some of that more in your face delivery, some of the stuff that is being pointed out to you so you guys are not no longer deceived, right? Because when it comes to my channel, if you look at my channel, look at a lot of these other channels out there, or I should say the majority of them, absolute garbage. One, the same generic delivery you see on every single fucking review that you get out there. If you go on one specific day, you see the same fucking shoe all the time on those channels, right? All, all the channels are dropping the same exact fucking content. Garbage. Another thing, terrible. They look terrible on the camera. Their skincare is absolutely just garbage. The hair, they have a, they have a ton of hair compared to Mr. Wonderful, but yet they don't have no idea how to style it. The fits, non-existing. The teeth, absolutely garbage. I mean, just, uh, just absolutely just terrible. The shoe that they're reviewing, uh, chances are someone gave, it, gave them the shoe to review it, which is actually just not, I mean, nothing, right? Nothing when it comes to par compares to me. A true fucking sneakerhead, and that's why I decided to come here on YouTube to drop content. One, because I knew you people, the, the fellas and the beautiful ladies, deserve fucking better. You just deserve better. I had one, someone comment and tell me, oh, oh, Floyd, you don't need to always point out how good looking you are. Floyd, you don't need to tell the, you know, talk about all these other content creators that they're garbage. I mean, we see you. And you know what, you're right. I shouldn't have to, but you know what, a lot of there's there's a lot of stupid people out there and it, it I need to actually point it out to them. I need to actually show them, look at them and look at me, there's no fucking comparison, right? Because you know what, I bring you something original. I bring you someone that, I bring myself that I'm fucking good looking, right? Delivering you this content because you know what, you deserve it. You deserve, if you're gonna invest your time into somebody if you're going to invest your time into a channel, make sure you're getting quality out of it. Make sure you're not watching a fucking loser, right? Because, I mean, if you're watching a loser, chances are you're a fucking loser if you're watching that channel. But right here, when it comes to here, when it comes to my channel, a winner. When it comes to my channel, someone that's fucking smart. And when it comes to the people that watch my content are smart people, are fucking winners in life. And if you're a winner in life, you're in the right place. This is where you fucking got to be, right? Someone, I mean, I'm tired of it. I'm sorry. I'm fucking tired of just, If you look in YouTube, you see the same, you see all the channels dropping the same shoe all the time. Early release. New shoe that came out, right? You know what? Fuck all that. When it comes to my channel, I'm going to do it my way. And you know what? Just like all the beautiful ladies tell me, oh, Mr. Wonderful. You do it so damn well. And you know what? I do do it well. Because you know what? I bring you a lot of old shoes. Shoes, if you look them up con uh, um, on content here on YouTube on these specific shoes, you get terrible footage because you know what? They 
those people dropped them a very long time ago. But here, I'm bringing it back. I want you to pay attention to an old shoe, a shoe that deserves the light to shine bright on it once again. And that's what my intentions are. My intentions are here to drop shoes that you just don't see very often, to drop shoes that you probably forgot about or didn't know existed. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to bring you a true fucking sneakerhead's perspective. I'm here to bring you someone that cares about their appearance on camera and not someone that's just absolutely just terrible looking when it comes to being on camera and gives you a shitty ass delivery. So with all that being said, right here, since I'm watching the Little League World Series and regardless if I am or not, let's go ahead and knock another motherfucker out of the park. As you can see, the Lululemon Fundamental Ocean Blue Tea some a nice page denim. The gorgeous tag aqua race, of course, this amazing complexion. The skin care, the teeth, the hair. I mean, you get older, you're starting to lose your hair, and that's what's happening to Mr. Wonderful. But I still make what I have fucking amazing. And you know what? There's a lot of people that have a ton of hair. And yeah, terrible. Don't even know how to style. As you can see, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed because, you know, I'm just relaxing watching this in Little League Baseball. There was actually some football. The first college football game was on TV not too long ago. But you know what? I said, I'm going to go ahead and drop some content. I might as well. I haven't been in front of the camera in a long time, and I fucking missed it. Just busy in life, back in California. Of course, the beautiful weather. And, of course, you know what? Later on, I am going to meet up with one of the cheerleaders. We're actually going to go grab... A snow cone from that Bahama Bucks. I absolutely love that place, to be honest with you. And then watch a movie after. So just just chill. Just relax. I absolutely love it. It's going to be a great day. So here we go. As you can see, hold one minute. I almost forgot. Since those doors are open, let's go ahead and open up the book because we are on sneaker profiles 363 right here. 363. Too shy of the 365. And let's go ahead and take a look at the the box now, right? As you all know, if you've been watching the past two episodes, you're, you're smart for doing that. But here's number three when it comes to my collection of these amazing pink box era shoes right here. This one, another amazing shoe. You see the thumbnail. I sure, I'm sure you already know what it is. The pink metallic boxes right here. I love this. Just that glossy finish to the box. But let's take a look at the, the tag right there. That's what I want you to focus on. If I can get a nice focused image on it. There it is. Ten and a half. Orange flash. Black, black. $65 price tag right there. Ooh, you just don't see that anymore on anything when it comes to shoes. Right here. Pink interior right there. Wood grain on the tissue paper. Nice black and white wood grain tissue paper right here. Absolutely gorgeous right there. Got my StockX receipt because I actually purchased this on StockX. Back in... August 2nd of 2018. So as you, I mean, didn't pay very much for this shoe. Man, didn't pay very much at all. Very lucky about this one. Happy, I gl I'm glad more than glad to take this one out of somebody's hands, out of somebody's collection. This is a shoe I always wanted. I actually wanted the, the other one too, but I was not able to get it. But I did pick this one up. Obviously not for retail, but I picked it up for resale for a very low price when it came to this shoe. A shoe just don't very see very often. They actually re-released -re these shoes when Nike SB was peaking. And this was what, 2000, what, 19, 2020 was when it was starting to peak. I actually got both of those shoes. Those shoes I actually done profiles on. But this is the original pair. Right? And I want to say this is the home pair. I was having a hard time trying to find if this is a home pair or the visitors, visitors pair. But this is a home pair right here. Absolutely gorgeous shoe. We are looking at sneaker profiles, 363 right here. The Nike Dunk SB. This is known as the Roswell Raygun, but people, a lot of people, just call it the Raygun, as this is pretty much everybody called it, just the Raygun. But this is actually called the Roswell Raygun. That's what it actually came out. And unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately, but this is a shoe that I didn't know the history about. Um, but the shoe, obviously, Ray, Roswell, Reagan, Alien, that's where the whole connection comes from. But this shoe is actually based off a, a basketball team. 
a fictional ABA team led by the, the time-traveling Dr. Funk and his crew of styling and profiling all-stars. So this is a shoe that, you know, does have some, some basketball to it. But I want to say this is a shoe um, also giving paying tribute to uh, Sandy Bodecker. Uh, Sandy Bodecker, he actually, I believe this is the person that actually made this shoe and he was paying tribute to the Roswell um, basketball squad. So a little bit of history on that. As you can see, crazy colors going on, but absolutely fucking jam right here. I love the, the color, the combination, a shoe that I'm never going to wear. And the reasoning why is right here, right there, the white outsole, never going to wear it. I actually do have the the most recent version of this shoe, which is like the tie-dye version. I have both, you know, the black and white pair. And I actually have or the, the white pair um, because it actually has a black outsole. So let's go ahead and go on to this one. Absolutely amazing shoe, though. Look at that. Beautiful colors going on when it comes to this one. This shoe was actually released back in 2005. So same same time frame as the the other one that I just showed you uh, yesterday or a couple days ago, the Boca Juniors. Around that same time frame. But look at this absolutely gorgeous leather going on this is that beautiful tumbler leather same thing going out throughout the entire shoe and you can see it tumbleness going on in this orange side panel as well as this yellow panel as well I'm trying to show it to you but yeah it is tumble though absolutely gorgeous though let's take a look closer look so black tumble leather going throughout the toe box and this mud guard right here on this lateral side but, and then also going through the traveling through the shoelaces as well. But then when it comes to this specific window right here, that side panel window, you have that nice orange tumble leather as well. Right here, you do got that nice tumble leather going on when it comes to the black suit. And then traveling towards the lateral part of the, going towards the rear part of the shoe, you do got that nice yellow tumble leather. And then right there, you do got that sewn in roswell alien the ray gun right there with the ray guns pointing in different directions he is in green the ray guns are in white but today you do have that nice little orange tip when it comes to the gun black midsole beautiful white outsole hate that though because it's just hard for me to wear i just don't like that part of the shoe but it is what it is nike in white look at that beautiful rear part of the shoe white sewn in nike the orange surrounding that that tag the black just below that and then you do have that nice yellow right there going below that and it's all in that tumble leather when it comes to all that leather black midsole white outsole let's take a look at the medial side medial side pretty damn identical to the lateral side except you do not have that roswell alien you actually is missing in this portion of the shoe probably because you know it's the medial side not too many people are going to see it but it is missing so you do have that nice you still do have that nice, beautiful, tumbled yellow leather going on on this medial side going up towards the shoelaces. I absolutely love that. You also have that nice cut of black right there as well when it comes to the medial side. Forgot to point that out on the lateral side, but you do have that as well. Beautiful, nice side panel, that orange window in that beautiful tumbled leather as well. Black going down the shoelaces and then also black traveling through the mud guard going towards the front part of the shoe. Absolutely gorgeous. Black tumble leather swoosh. Black midsole, white outsole. Gorgeous. Let's take a look at the front part. Front part, amazing, right? It's simply amazing. I love how just that front hits. Let's take a look at that. The all white outsole, absolutely gorgeous because this is DS. I bought this obviously from StockX, so it came DS. It better come DS. But I mean, I looked at that price that I paid. I mean, nothing i pay nothing for this shoe very happy to take it off someone's hands absolutely gorgeous let's take a look at the medial the upper part right the overview of the shoe not the overview what am i saying the aerial view of the shoe sorry about that the aerial view of the shoe absolutely gorgeous my favorite part because this is the part where i'm staring at it the most but look at that black tumble leather absolutely gorgeous that black nylon tongue the white shoelaces right there look at that white night swoosh and the sb in white and then that orange tag surrounding it and again we see the sb right there when it comes to the tag unlike the grit the grit is not there but this one is and then you do see that nice black ankle collar 
inside you do have that nice black insole but then that air that zoom air right there let me take a look it is actually in green yeah it's in that green color so you can see it right there absolutely lovely i just love that oh whenever i see that old school it just reminds me of, of just like old sb it takes me back to the time when when i was picking you know buying these shoes when i would always just love to see that insole it just takes me back to a different time a lot of different experiences going on during that time just absolutely a great time when it came to my life but also when it comes to like the sb line just gorgeous shoes what do you think about this one is this one your favorite pair as far as the old school goes like the i want to say this is the home pair because this is basically stating that you know there is a jersey that went along with this whole thing is uh the it was like a black jersey or is the white pair the away pair that white jersey is that one of your favorites drop a comment down below i would like to know i mean to me just gorgeous i just love how this leather the leather is just amazing when it comes to like paint boxes and stuff just absolutely just amazing leather love the colors just great shoe right here drop a comment down below let me know which one is your favorite i would like to know that that's why i ask these fucking questions because i would like to know your answers but i don't lose sleep over any of this stuff i don't lose sleep about the viewers i don't lose sleep about the thumbs up or about the comments or any of that i just hey i do what i do because you know what i love being here i love actually dropping content and this is actually entertaining to me a lot of these shoes i forget that i even have so it's always great to see them when I'm putting together outfits for those shoes that I do wear. So you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be here regardless of whether I get a ton of views or not. And that just shows you that I'm fucking consistent regardless of my numbers. I could have gave this shit up a long time ago if I was going based off numbers and based off views. But no, I do this because I'm a true fucking sneakerhead and I absolutely love this. And in case you are, right? in case you're a true sneakerhead and you're like, man, this fucking guy is different compared to all that other fucking trash out there this guy's where this is the channel i need to be at well if you see that icon right there it says subscribe in white the button's in black well guess what yes it is a button it is a button because if you don't fucking use it guess what nothing's gonna happen so i need you i need you people out there the smart people the winners when it comes to the sneaker youtube genre i need you to hit that icon and turn it into a button because guess what it doesn't fucking hit itself so you know what? again i appreciate those my winners my true followers for subscribing for watching my content thank you so much as you can see mr wonderful will never leave you or forsake you and as you can see just like all the beautiful ladies tell me mr wonderful floyd and i'm sure you say it as well don't lie i know you say it because you know what I say it to myself sometimes, but I know you people say it. I'm looking at you, and you all say, Mr. Wonderful Floyd, you are too damn <laughs> sweet.